Hello and welcome to my tutorial for Art Foamies. Today I'm using seven different stamps to create in my Dina Wakely Media Journal. I hope that you are inspired to grab your supplies and play along with me. I grabbed the odds and ends that were lying on my desk and gessoed my page before adhering the papers with matte medium. I decided I wanted to add some of these dictionary pages uh, behind and in front of the tissue that I had put down. So before the tissue dried, I lifted it up and quick stuck some of these pieces of dictionary pages behind it and in front of it to create even more of a layered look on my pages. I used an extra dose of that matte medium on this burlap side because I wasn't exactly sure how well these pages and that printed tissue would stick to it. In the end, it ended up working out perfectly, but I was a little nervous in the beginning. Next, I added some gesso. This helps to push back some of that text, also introduces the white to the left side, like I had introduced the brown to the right side from those dictionary pages, and also adds a little bit more um, interest, and um, the gesso will help the paint cling onto it in my next paint layer. Then I began to add my color layer. My idea was that it would kind of be like a color explosion starting on that right side and then it kind of exploding over onto that burlap page. So I mainly concentrated the color on the right edge of my journal pages and then um, spread it over to the left side. I layered colors uh, starting with the blue and the pink which also made uh, the colors combined for the purple color and just had fun and played and watched the colors flow. You'll see that it clings to the pages and the book text and the gesso part and the burlap all differently which creates really unique and interesting colors. Next I picked up my Stabila All Pencils to add some sketchy lines around those torn out book pages and then also journaled on the right side a little message to myself. When I was finished, I activated those lines with my paintbrush and a little bit of water. Next, it was time to play with my first art foamy. I grabbed this uh, Circle One by Julie Faith and Balzer, and my idea was that I didn't want the um, circles to stamp solid, so I kind of randomly placed the paint on the circles, and after I stamped it the first time, I realized that I didn't put enough paint on the stamp so I had to do it again but thankfully it was really easy to stamp back in that same space with a little bit more paint and it turned out perfectly. I wanted those circles to look more grungy, not solid and perfect so just applying the paint in um, random places on the circles allowed that to happen naturally and then I just continued to stamp across the page and then stamp um, pieces of it here and there so that um, it wouldn't look like a straight line all the way across but more random and a little bit um, more unpredictable than that straight line across the page. Now I'm going to add a second layer of color to the same process that I did on that first layer. This is just to add a little bit more depth and to add some darker color so that all of the color didn't seem like it was the same intensity. So in spots I just darkened the blue and darkened the pink hues to make um, the page just a little bit more interesting and make some of the paint come to the foreground and some of it push to the background. I also um, splatter paint once in a while and you'll see me do that. It's just to add some more grunginess and texture to the pages. I grabbed my hair dryer to help dry the pages a little faster, but it also helped move the paint and give it a drippy look. Then I grabbed those Stabila All Pencils again and randomly chose different circles to trace around uh, with both the graphite and the black version. And then I took my paintbrush and water and activated that again to give it more of a grungy and a more shadowy look. I also drew some circles in places that I hadn't stamped with the Art Foamy to give it the page even more interest.
I wanted to bring some of that white again to the front, so I just splattered some watered down gesso really quick to bring some more white on the front. And then it was time to play with more art foamies. So my next processes are pretty simple. I grabbed a page of the Dina Wakely uh, watercolor paper that is sold separately in packages and gessoed it because I wanted to stamp on the same type of paper that I was using on that right side of the journal page. And I just grabbed my colors and simply painted on the different art foamies that I wanted to use so that they would kind of have a painterly look and maybe look a little watercolory. I wasn't exactly sure <laughs> what I wanted it to look like, but just wanted the colors to kind of mesh together and um, look really neat like feathers. So I painted the colors of the same color family that would blend really well. This one has all of the warm colors and then grabbed a little bit of that rosy for a little metallic, stamped it on that watercolor paper that's gessoed and lifted it up and loved the results. So I continue this with the two smaller feathers. This time I do them mostly in blues, adding just a little bit of pink and purple. Stamped them on the watercolor paper and loved how they turned out as well. Next I used a brayer and that rosy metallic paint all over this heart art foamy and stamped it on the same watercolor paper. I wanted this heart to look really solid with not a lot of variation and that's why I chose to use the brayer. I wanted to add a little bit of more interest to those feathers so I splattered them with some of that rosy and also some pink to um, add a little bit more texture to the front of them. I also grabbed that rosy pile of paint that was already on my palette and splattered it on my journal pages as well. Next I grabbed the final two art foamies that I'm going to use on this page um, and basically did the same process on the wings except this time I stamped it on a page of the dictionary paper. I thought the text showing through the wings would add a little bit more interest and also um, the different kind of paper would look really good when it was layered on top of the other elements as you'll see when I layer them at the end. I just painted the same um, warm colors on these wings, added a little bit of the rosy and then stamped it on the dictionary page. And then I stamped a second one because there was so much paint left on um, my stamp that I'm going to be able to use this in another project. And then I grabbed this female silhouette, applied some of the night paint directly on it, used my brayer and uh, moved it around, and then grabbed some of the other blues that were on my palette paper, moved them around with the brayer as well. And this time I stamped that on that gessoed watercolor paper, and it looked great. Loved the solid color of how she turned out. So the feathers were reminding me of the Emily Dickinson poem about hope and feathers, so I quick typed that out on my typewriter to add it to my page. Then I grabbed those Stabilo All Pencils again to add a little grungy line and texture and some shadowing to these um, art foamy stamps that I had cut out using that black Stabilo All and the graphite and then activating it with water, add some grungy lines, texture, and also some shadowing and shading so that they didn't look so one-dimensional.
Next, it was time to stick down all these wonderful art foamy images to my page. I played a lot trying to find the exact arrangement and took a picture with my phone because I knew that I would probably mess it up and not get them back in the same place. I stuck them down with this extra thick gel medium by Dina Wakely. And then when I got over to the feather side, you'll see that I have to pull out my phone and look at my picture because I kind of got the feathers a little uh, out of order from how I like. So using your phone to take a picture before you adhere stuff down is a really great tip in getting your journal page exactly how you want it. I decided that I wanted the wings to stick up a little bit, so I grabbed some of those um, pop foam adhesive little shapes to stick underneath of them so that they would um, pop up from the page. And then I put my poem that I had typed down and the author's name underneath of it. And I love how this looked, except I felt that it was missing one thing. So I looked through my Tim Holtz stickers and found the word hope and thought, ooh, that is perfect. I need to put that on the right side. Um, grabbed that hope off of the sticker page and adhered it to the right on top of the heart. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching this tutorial for Art Foamies. I really enjoyed creating it for you and I hope that you enjoyed it too. Check out the Art Foamies uh, Facebook group and their website to see how you can buy some of these wonderful art foams.